has given me ghetto fabulous. What? What you say? What? Got punchlines, but some of y'all ain't right though. My game up when you bring my name up. They gon' say I came up. They gon' say I changed up. Step my What is good y'all and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carrie. If you're new, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything when I upload. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and comment down below what you liked about it. So, we're gonna talk about Butter Unit 3 now, okay? So first of all, when Sensational dropped off Butter Number 1, I was not a super big, huge fan of it. I was like, I don't know, sis. I just got finished doing a bar review for something I got off Amazon, which is very bomb, by the way. And it's human here under $50. So if you want to see that, go ahead and look in the description box or click that link up here because it's going to pop up. But however, when I saw Butter Unit 1, I was like, eh, it's a basic bob. Nothing special going on. Wasn't a fan. Unit 2 came out and all the reviews came out and it was like, nappy and people was cutting it it was tangly i was not a fan but initially i was like them voluptuous curls looking real good and i was thinking about it but i did not okay when i saw unit three i was like okay she's not a plain bob she got some style about her but she's not in one of them styles that you're gonna need to be dipping your little fingers in so the tangling might be too minimal so i was like let me go ahead and review Butter Unit 3. So that's what we got going on today. So let's go ahead and jump into the review. See what she working with. I don't know, y'all. I can see y'all from this side, okay? She looking a little thin. We're going to see. I don't know. Maybe a little messing around with her or something. I don't know. We're going to have to figure this out. So first of all, she's supposed to be a pre-plucked hairline. She's an HD lace. We're going to see about that. It says virtually undetectable HD lace. She has a wider parting space, ear to ear lace. I got um, butter unit three in the color one. I ain't gonna lie, I like the name butter. When you hear butter, not butter, but butter, butter, it's like it's gonna be, ooh, that's gonna be slick and cool. <laughs> but anyways, um, it says that it has a pre-plucked hairline, so we're gonna check on that too. All right, I got her in the color one. I think I said that already. And uh, for the most part, that's all it says. You could be heat up to 400 degrees. 100% premium fiber. So let's see if she popping or not. But I already don't think she gonna be all that. But that's me prejudging. We gonna see. All right, so we got our little comb right here on the nape. We got our two combs right there on our little temples. And we have our one little parting space. So you don't get no free parting with her, just one part, which is, it's okay. Cause it makes it easier in my opinion. Now this is the undetectable lace, okay? It don't look so undetectable to me so far because it's a little bit light for my complexion, but we're going to put her on. We're going to see what she do. Let's try her out. All right. So first of all, off jump, let's, let's talk about a few things. Okay. With Miss Butter Butter right here. She feels nice and soft. Okay. She's soft so far. I'm not even going to lie to you. She feels really good. The little crimp style that we have going on is really cute. She does look a little bit thin. So I do feel like, although I didn't want to because I wanted her to be defined the way she was, I feel like I might have to brush her out to kind of get some volume. Because right now, this is all the hair to the front. Okay. All the hair to the front. To the back. All the hair to the back of her. Okay. She is kind of long. She comes up like right to my booty area and all that good stuff. This lace. She's not all that undetectable. She might be undetectable to somebody really light, but I'm a brown girl. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to tint her up. The hairline looks great, okay? They do got a little pre plug action going on there, and I'm cool with that. However, I do see that even though it's pre plug it kind of still has that one like line going down there. But Super Saiyan, Superman, save it, not I Top tier, top floor, top shatter, you are not top five To be completely 100, these people can't keep me from coming, I'm moving now What you doing tomorrow, if you wanna do it, I say you get to it now I see the view from the top of the podium, out of your sodium wingspan I am the they itching to see when you sitting with me, you a wingman Everybody say they hot, some of y'all ain't right though Everybody got punchlines, but some of y'all ain't right though Living my life on the ledge, I'm a legend 
My brother got caught with a weapon by 12 years. All right, y'all. So first of all, initially when I first opened up the pack and I saw her, I think that the curls and the crimps are bomb. I think it's fire. However, I think she did look a bit skippy. I'm like, where's the hair, sis? So I already knew from jump I was going to have to fluff her out to kind of get a little volume and stuff going on, which was like, eh, I don't know how it was going to turn out, but we saw how it came out or whatever, and I ain't too bad about it. The undetectable lace is not that undetectable. The lace is light skin as heck, okay? Or deep candy color, okay? I'm not no Carmel. I ain't no candy corn i'm not none of that light skin stuff so the lace wasn't working for your sister so i did take some of my even tint spray and i just got a rocket in the part of space in the lace area and it worked out really fine so you can do that or you can use some foundation on it i'm eating a mint sorry or you can just use some powder but if you are brown you're gonna have to do something with this lace because it's too light it could be some more plucking but it's cool it's cool for a synthetic unit that you only spent a little bit of coin on okay it had that line like after the pluck and stuff you had that line in the front so i kind of kind of try to cut a little rigid to kind of get rid of it and it worked itself out and i think the baby hairs gives it a nice little touch okay this hair is giving me ghetto fabulous what what you say what Nah, you tripping because you bugging. I don't know what you talking about, but we not doing that today. You hear me, sis? <laughs> That's how I feel with this. So, as far as the texture goes, it's very, very soft, which I was shocked about. Um, well, actually, no, I wasn't shocked. It did look soft. It looked soft. It looked bouncy. The crimps were very defined. I actually wish the whole thing was defined, and I wish it was fuller because the fluff look is okay. This is cool. It's not bad, but I kind of like it when it's defined, so I wish it was just more hair on it, so that way I didn't have to fluff it out as much. It's giving me a very natural density, even with the fluff. It's just very natural. It's not that full. Back with the back with some in the back. That's how it looks with all of it in the back. That's the side. The length, I would say, is pretty decent. It's coming down to my booty. And you know when you got some long hair. I mean, so sexy, girl. So we got some long hair. Hold on. All right, so the other unit, some people was having a lot of problems. One of them with unit two was being a lot of tangling. There's not a lot of tangling, I'm going to say. Um, and even if it is, to be honest with you, it's not really that bad because I kind of expected it with this kind of crimpy, wavy kind of style, but it's not really any tangling going on. Like, it's really no shedding. So I don't know. They might have missed it with unit one with something, unit two with something, but unit three came through because unit three is not giving me no problems with anything at all besides that lace, okay? I would say that she was very easy to style. She didn't give me that much problems either. Like the lace wasn't hard to deal with. The baby hairs, even though I made my own, that wasn't hard to deal with either. I wouldn't say necessarily it's a 100% beginner friendly wig because you do have to put a little bit of work in as far as the lace color goes. And if you want some baby hairs, if you want some baby hairs, that's a whole nother step. You don't have to do the baby hairs. If you skip that, if you just color your lace tinted or just throw something on it, then it would definitely be beginner friendly. As far as it being big hair friendly, I'm going to say A+. plus. First of all, I did cut off a lot of my lace over here because I'm going to be, I ain't going to lie to y'all, I don't like those sideburns and ear tabs and all that extra stuff. I don't like it. It just feels so uncomfortable. So I cut it off. This is my real edges out. However, she did come all the way down, y'all. She has space in her. Like, look at this. So she's moving, okay? So if you got a big head, it is nothing to worry about. She is fit and very, very comfortable. I would say that she could be a, a plot and go. If you're not going to go all out and do the baby hairs like I did, then you could definitely throw her on after you take that lace one time and just keep on pushing every day. She one of them kind of wigs. She's a cute everyday wig too. I think it's very, very cute. Very, very pretty. This unit is A1 in my book, you guys. A1 in my book. I love it. If you're gonna spend your coin on one of the butter, butter units, even though I did not review unit one or unit two, I could still confidently say that this one is going to probably make you happy to spend your money on. This one right here is a winner, okay? What? <laughs> but anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this on up. Uh, yeah, see you in my next video. Later. Then I hit the bong on the same, just a different song. And I hopped in the game like a six man. Hoping it make me a rich man. Lean on your with a kickstand. She done snuck in the back with a wristband. It ain't new to me. Truly, I'm used to the foolery. Seem like I handle it suitably. So there ain't really you could do to me. And I think that it's best that they understand. Right now that I got the upper hand.